she simply just wanted to write a book. And the day her book was set to be released, Donald Trump and the Trump campaign filed an arbitration action saying that she had signed a non-disclosure agreement and therefore everything potentially in any way confidential or defamatory or even derogatory should be shut down. Nifty Marketing presents Topical Legal with your host, Adam Ramirez. For those who don't know, Amorosa is, um, was one of Trump's inner circle while he was in the White House, and she wrote a book, and I'll let you catch us up and, on the details and a little bit about your role with the litigation there. Yeah, so, so I met Amorosa back in 2013. We did a, a, a show together, and we were commenting on Trayvon Martin and my client that was similar to Jordan, uh, to. Trayvon Martin, Jordan Davis, who was shot and killed over loud music. And, and, uh, and Amorosa actually lost her brother um, to, you know, to murder. And, and so we just kind of became acquaintances. And then she, she started dating and married a local pastor from, from here in Jacksonville, Florida. And, and we just, we just became more and more friends. Um, And as she was having issues at the White House, uh, she reached out and, you know, got fired as everybody kind of would could pr- probably hearken back to 2018 and remember. And, uh, and then she, she simply just wanted to write a book. And it, the day her book was set to be released, uh, Donald Trump and the Trump campaign filed an arbitration action saying that she had signed a non-disclosure agreement and therefore everything uh, potentially in any way uh, confidential or or defamatory or or even derogatory uh, should be shut down and ask for you know millions of dollars in damages and they tried to stop her book but you can't do that under the first amendment and you know then like she went on cele- um, as a big brother and like she said, comments about not wanting to vote for uh, Donald Trump in the reelection and, and a comment, not my circus, not my monkeys, uh, trying to distance herself from them. And they literally sued her for that. Not my circus, not my monkeys, you know, a matter of opinion. And they just, you know, Trump has been effective in using uh, campaign funds. You know, it's, it's other people's money, millions and millions of dollars, if not hundreds of millions of dollars of other people's money uh, donations to to fund lawyers and to prop up, you know, non-disclosure agreements that we knew from day one were overbroad under New York law and most states law. And, you know, we're brought into arbitration. You know, it takes a while. You find we finally got up to a, a hearing in New York City right before COVID, uh, right before Tiger King. But it was like February January, February of 2020. And, uh, and I think it was February because it was, I remember kind of hearing about COVID, but it really wasn't a threat yet. And we won and and that all of the counts were dismissed back in February of 2020. And then apparently they had a paralegal that was keeping track of every other comment. And so they amended and added like 200 more comments that she had made. And they said, were were, you know, derogatory or disparaging. And so the off we went to depositions. And once depositions finally ended and COVID allowed us to kind of resume litigation, uh, we were able to get summary judgment yesterday. Um, so it's, it's, it's done, you know, she, she, she beat Trump, the, the apprentice, you know, beat, beat the boss, uh, which she's super stoked about. We're super stoked about, you know, when you, when you start your career, as a kind of young, underestimated, uh, underappreciated lawyer, and you know you have the opportunity to free Joe Exotic and and beat the president, you, you probably did okay. 